Well, we got to start a day a little bit on the uh, getting the prep work ready for setting the post for the deck. And uh, I got the holes dug. I run into a problem with where they did this uh, concrete skirting. They uh, got a little bit crazy on it at the bottom down there, and it's kind of sticking out, and it's causing the uh, the post to be too far off of the house. So I've got to deal with that. So I've been breaking it up with a sledgehammer and a couple other things. There's some there that I broke up I've got to dig out. There's some there that I broke out I've got to dig out. And I think these over here were good to go. And that hole's good. This one's got some that I broke out but I pushed it back out of the way. And uh, so far I haven't run in any red clay. I'm running into good topsoil all the way down as far as I'm digging. And uh, so I've got all these ready to go. I uh, decided to extend the deck down a little farther. At first I was going to stop right in here by the kitchen. But since I've got a water tank going right here and I've got to be able to monitor that, I got to thinking about how am I going to get up and get into the top of the tank to to keep up with it well I got to looking at it and uh, I looked at the height of the tank and they come out at seven foot at the top of the dome and I can uh, pretty much get to it very easily if I just extend the deck over so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the last post right here in front of the service door that goes underneath the crawl space and then extend the platform of the deck the walking area over just to it and I'm gonna put the uh, tank right here so I can get the drain uh, downspout to uh, drain into it and I can catch the rainwater and then the, gut the gutters have got to be retasked because they got a crown in the middle and they're made to set up to, to drain on both ends so I've got to take that off once I get the deck built I can just work off of the deck very easily with a little small ladder and get that redone I went and ordered some, well not ordered, but went and picked up some more posts. They finally came in with some 16 footers that were decent. And uh, now I've got pretty much everything I need except for the decking. And I've got to drive out of town to Norfolk to get those. Also got concrete ready to uh, put around the post. <coughs> Keep moving forward on that. And uh, i got to drag this out of the way. I've been kind of using it for a workbench, so that's why I didn't drag it out of the way this morning. I've been laying stuff on it and cutting with it, so it's come in handy. It saves me by having to walk over here and try and rig up something here. But uh, once I use those posts right there, which are coming up here Monday, because I think tomorrow we're supposed to have rain uh, off and on all day, so and temperatures dropping back down in the upper 30s, so... Right now it's 70 degrees out and uh, sun's going down so the temperature's going to start dropping too. But uh, I'm making some progress here, getting some stuff done and I'm about spent. My uh, my back is screaming at me now for messing with the concrete in these posts. These posts are, just came in and they're soaking wet full of water. I'd say they probably weigh about 55 pounds, maybe 60 pounds each. And that's not really an exaggeration. They are soaking wet and super heavy. And uh, I had the one post that I had here on site. I went ahead and put that up just to kind of give me a visual encouragement of how I'm going to do. And I'll go all the way across here. Uh, the reason I'm doing it this way and not attaching it to the, to the home itself is because um there's an issue with the warranty and the warranty is still in force for another three years so uh you're not allowed to attach anything to it you can put something beside it and they don't have a problem with that but if i physically attach the deck to it then i may risk voiding the warranty and i don't want to do that so i want to try and take advantage of that if i if i can never know when something may happen it may need them to come out and if they see that they may say oh well we, we can't do anything for you because you did this or that there's people just looking for excuse to get out of responsibility here past couple years for some reason we all know what that reason is and uh i just thought i'd give you a little update what i'm doing I'm trying to keep busy and uh every time i have to go to town to get materials that waste two to four hours depending on well, I got to ride around looking for it. Uh, so, 
they didn't have any 14 footers so i had to buy some 16 footers and i may have to go back and buy some more and i may just do that just to have them here in case i do need them and then i can always cut them or retask them for something else but i'm going to have uh uh about six six uh 12 foot four by fours left over so what i'm gonna do is once a deck is built there'll be a, a ramp going right straight up this way to the corner of the deck it'll be a square end on each end and then there'll be an elliptical uh, prow on the front and what i'm gonna do is have that ramp come down here and then the new driveway is going to be going right straight down there to the road right along the tree line and coming right in here and continue on back this shed and all this stuff will be gone and right in this little area right in here is going to be a parking area where i can park the truck and i'm going to build a uh a little carport right over top of it and uh i'll use those uh 12 foot uh posts for that to uh build that with and then i'll have some leftover uh 16 foot uh two by eights uh treated and i got all that stuff over there too to let wood there is pressure treat it that's how i can use that for whatever so i hope you're having a good weekend so far i'll talk to you all later bye